Enjoy life. This nigga got a good credit score, a nice watch. I ain't got no good credit. Yes, I don't good. even know my yes, credit you. score because I buy everything well, well, straight up. It's good. It's like good. so, I, that's another thing. Like I don't agree. I don't know why people care about credit so much. <laughs> so, no, even with real estate. If to me with real estate, if you can't buy it, don't get it. That's in anything. Like I don't understand. Like why do we feel like we have to get loans on something or just save up and get it? Okay. And it even makes sense even this when is, you sell it. It's your black black excellence privilege. Even before that, oh, some my, people without money nigga, need like to I worry about you. their credit score because well, they, 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 they ain't got it to save up. Well, let's say this: if I if all I got to save is five thousand dollars, I'm gonna buy me a five thousand dollar car. I'm not gonna buy nothing that's gonna put me in payments. And then when I get some more money, I'm gonna buy that. It's really that fucking simple. I don't know why people feel like you gotta. All right, I can't afford to get it, so I'm gonna get a loan on that. Even with a house, if I can't afford to get a house. Because honestly, even if you got a mortgage, you don't own that bitch until you pay it all the way off. You can pay that listen, bitch off. 19 you, you, years on that 20th listen. year, if you ain't pay that mortgage, it ain't uh, yours. Knock it off. You live in Atlanta. Y'all pay that shit off in five years. No. <laughs> no. Because the cost of living equates to the lifestyle that you're making. So it's still the same. Mm, okay. So it's really no I, difference. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's just the mentality of America makes us feel like we got to have this the American dream. To, to do this. Think about it. You living your whole life to buy a house. It's the okay. biggest hustle ever. Well, the that's, biggest finesse well, ever. Well that's, well, that's why they say... And, like, and this is another thing I, I, I want to say about real estate. Like, people don't realize. They're like, oh, you can get these houses and flip them and this, that, whatever, but you don't realize. Let's say, Vince, you get all these houses. You got to pay the property taxes on all these. That means, let's say, Vince, you got... And I don't know how much property tax up here, but it's, it's high in certain sure, places. It's a lot up here. So just imagine your property tax $10,000 a year. That means you got to have $10,000 a year for the rest of your fucking life. Some type of income. You can't retire. from. You got to have some type of income coming in. So it's like, and so imagine if you got 20 properties. You got to pay it on all these. People don't think about that part of it. Because in the midst of you selling this shit, you still got to pay for this shit. So you got to equate all that. That's why I said if you ain't got the money or the the overhead to even play with some money to fuck with it. Don't play yourself. Don't do it now. Like, don't let these seminars and these niggas telling you you can do this. Like, like it sounds good, but I wouldn't go in that game blind. Stops. All right, so it was a couple things he said in that video, man. First of all, I want to shout out Lil Duval because uh, I follow him and uh, I enjoy his comedy. My family, me and my sister love you know his stuff from early on uh so i don't want anybody to feel like this is a shot at him personally because it's absolutely not you know um <clears throat> there's a few things he said in that video talking about credit you know first of all i want to say that i agree with some of the things he was saying like buying things that you really can't afford uh is not financially smart you know uh you should always buy things that with is within reason of your actual finances and nobody's going to tell you what you can and can't afford you know the reality is that's something that you should know you know so i agree with him wholeheartedly when it comes to that and just having financial discipline you know uh to be able to access certain things that you may not necessarily be able to pay for out of pocket but not doing it because you want to be financially responsible i mean that's that's some of the core principles i think that most people should uh, abide by however where where my agreement stops when it comes to some of the things Lil Duval was saying was not knowing his credit score not ever using credit and uh he said something about listening to these seminar guys and all of this stuff like that was that was in my opinion complete ignorance and the reason why I say that is because first of all Lil Duval is a comedian very funny comedian I think that, uh, you know, he really good at what he does and, you know, him having his mindset doesn't necessarily hurt him personally as much as it will hurt other people who listen to him who, who may not be in the same financial situation as Lil Duval because they're not as funny or popular, you know, uh, as Lil Duval. So he's able to, you know, make money uh, that's above average and live a lifestyle that most people probably would like, even if they try to use credit. However, uh, the thing that I want to say is this credit is not just for consumerism. I, th I know that that's the reason why a lot of us use it. I know that's the, th the thing that we were taught. You know, uh, a lot of people try to take advantage of people, especially in our culture, when it comes to their credit, you know, uh, get this mortgage that you can't afford or get this car that you can't afford. Like that's a lot of the 
you know, the the language that's being promoted to us as a culture. However, um, this is a philosophy that, you know, I started to live by once I realized this to be truth. It's actually easier to borrow a million dollars than it is to earn a million dollars. And what do I mean by that? Right. Um, let's say you make fifty thousand dollars a year, which is an above average income. Most people don't make fifty thousand a year after taxes. But let's just say for example purposes, you did. It'll take you 20 years if you saved every dime, which is not probable at all. You know, uh, you, if you if you have living expenses or have to spend money to survive and you only make 50,000, then you probably can't save it all. But just for kicks and giggles, let's say you could. It'll take you 20 years to have access to a million dollars cash. Right. If you build your credit, if you establish your credit properly, you build a business, you know, uh, got on that business credit. And you can get approved for 300, 400,000 if your business is structured properly or doing okay, then even more potentially, a million dollars. Let's say it takes you two to three years in order to do that. You get access to that same million dollars and it took you 18 or 17 years uh, shorter than it would be if you saved every single dime. Now, my question to you is obviously you're not at the finish line. Earning a million dollars is always better than borrowing, but if you had a million dollars cash in your pocket, could you make a million dollars if you only use that first initial million that you borrowed to make money faster than 17 years, right? Like a, a lot of the time we have our wealth in our hands, but we don't see it as wealth. So we miss it. What do I mean by that? Uh, most people can get approved for a forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 car, right? We know that. Right. Uh, most of us can get approved for a two hundred thousand dollar house, hundred fifty thousand dollar house, forty million dollar house. We know that that's on our personal credit, you know, just running our own personal name. If you start talking about business credit, obviously that number goes up. But let's just talk about those two numbers right there. One hundred fifty, two hundred thousand and fifty thousand. That's a quarter million dollars that most of us can most likely get approved for right now. Based on our current situation, if unless, you know, we got some credit challenges or some financial challenges. But if if we if we entertain that situation right there, that means we have access to uh, a quarter million dollars worth of uh, assets, potentially. Right. The reason why we don't we miss the money is because we look at those things as consumer goods. When, when if you really understand credit, you can look at it as a business. Right. So, so basically, whenever you get an approval from a bank, that bank is basically saying, hey, we're willing to let you borrow 40000 50000 or 150000 200000 for the purpose of purchasing a vehicle or for the purpose of purchasing a property or for the purpose of doing whatever it is they're doing, right? We as people typically says, oh, we typically say, oh, I'm going to get that car and I'm going to drive it. I'm going to look nice. I'm going to stun on everybody. Or I'm going to live in this house and I'm going to pay, you know, these lower amount of payments and save money on my rent where we could have took those same exact scenarios and said, OK, look, listen, I'm going to use this car to make income. I'm going to, you know, get a truck that can pr produce income for me and, you know, put it to work. Or I'm going to get a property that I can rent out or that I could put on Airbnb or that I can do something with that's going to generate me money. So instead of instead of borrowing the money to just use it and have to pay it back with the money you already earned from your job, we decide that we're going to make money from it. And it's so much easier to start to get rich. Now, the reason why credit is important is because, like I said before, it's easier to borrow larger amounts of money than it is to earn them, you know, and. It, it just come a time where we just have to look at things for what they are. Now, I agree with Lil Duval for having discipline, but everything else that he was saying after that is absolutely ignorant, you know, and anybody can learn how to use credit for their advantage and to start making income. You know, um, I, honestly, that's probably the, the best way that an average person can get become financially free. And it's something that we all know about, but it's something that we all ignore because we continuously get messages from people we look up to like Little Duval and uh, and from uh, various companies just telling us to consume with our credit, you know? So that's just something to think about.